What's going on guys? It's OmniArk and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about how you can get more flagship blueprints in Infinite Galaxy. Guys, what what makes you happy? What makes you happy in this in this world, in this life, in this existence? You're wrong. The correct answer is massive spaceships, okay? So the real question is, how do you get more spaceships into your life? We're back. That last video was enough water for the month. In all seriousness, flagships are the head of your fleet here in Infinite Galaxy. And so my question was, how do I get more of them, right? How do I get more of them? Obviously, having a powerful flagship is important. Uh, and so we're going to be talking about that today. First of all, the way that you get a flagship is you have to build it, right? So you go down into the corner here and you can click build flagship. Now, in order to build it, you need a certain number of blueprints. So you can see I'm 10 blueprints away from building this flagship called the Nemesis. I'm also 10 away from building the Peleus. I also am close to the Artemis and a couple these other ones here the brontus uh and I, odysseus i don't have any of this one but uh you can see here that there's different colors and that is rarity so obviously the legendaries are in gold then the epics are in purple and then you have the elite tier are here in blue so the best ones in the game are obviously going to be the legendaries but realistically speaking a lot of these are really difficult to get that's why they're legendary so if you guys aren't a big spender in the game i would say at least for the early game focus on these epics okay focus your experience and all of your gear equipment and everything on these epic flagships but that begs the question how do you get more of them right how do you get more than just the one that you start with well the first way that you can get more blueprints whether it's to upgrade your current flagship or if you want to you know build another one you do get flagship blueprints from the campaign so making as much progress as possible in the campaign is important and uh, the end of every chapter here you can see this this is the end of the chapter you can tell because it's got this big skull uh, this is the current one that I'm on you can see I didn't even I didn't even three star this last one because it's starting to get a little bit difficult for me but when you see that skull you know that this is sort of like a boss battle right it's like the end of that chapter and if you look at the star rating here you will get 10 blueprints of the ne nemesis for getting a three star on this campaign and every end of the chapter you will get uh, some sort of reward in the form of blueprints for your flagship so keep that in mind it's super important you want to push as far as you can into the campaign in order to get more of these blueprints Another reason you want to progress here is because every single day you're going to get your reset of your rewards here and this is going to give you some currency that you can spend in the campaign shop and what do you know here we are you can see that you can purchase some blueprints here for your flagship now I only have 4,600 of this uh, of this campaign currency so I I don't know I don't really know exactly what to spend it on so I'm, I'm saving it for now but you can see you can get up to 10 blueprints uh, I guess this is every I don't know when this resets if this resets every day or every week uh, but these these are the ones that are up here permanently and then um, these are the ones that refresh every single day so you also get a free refresh chance here boom there it is so again campaign and the campaign shop are two great ways to get more blueprints to build flagships to upgrade flag flagships let's move to the next way that you can get them and that is the early game event called Starfield pioneer so this event you're gonna have on your account when you first start the game and it's gonna stay until you complete it which is getting your spaceport command center to level 25 and you can see at every single one of these milestones you do get I guess in, except for this one you do get some blueprints for your Jason so this is how I got my second uh, epic quality um, flagship in the game now the Jason is actually a really great one for gathering so really important to have this flagship it's again it's a, a higher rarity than the other gathering ships you're gonna be getting and you get it for free just by doing this event so make sure that you're pushing your spaceport command center as high as it can go as soon as possible and you're gonna get more of these blueprints here another place that you can obtain some more blueprints is over here on the right it says the trade center you can go into the blueprint area and this is where you can purchase more blueprints with your currency so you have the federation credits and then you have the federation advanced credits the federation advanced credits are a lot harder to come by they're way more premium and these are what you need in order to get the legendary blueprints now there is a catch here and the catch is that you can only buy blueprints from this shop for flagships that you already have built so you need to obtain flagships in other ways so that way you can build them and then once you do you can come into this blueprint shop here and you can spend your credits to get more blueprints for them so that way you can upgrade their skills later on so if you're looking for a specific flagship you're not going to find it here until you get it from other sources but then if you want to go all in on it you can go ahead and do that one super great way to get flagship blueprints virtually every single day is by completing your daily missions because you're going to be getting a legendary secret 
prototype device and in here you can obviously just read it here but it will randomly produce either blueprints or other materials and things like that and you can get some if you get lucky you can get actual full flagships from this item just by doing your dailies right so i don't actually know the probability of getting full flagships from that but keep that in mind guys you want to do your dailies every single day because this item right here is absolutely crucial for virtually everybody but especially because this is a free way like if you don't have to pay for this right you just play the game and boom so this is a great reason to log in every day grind every day and get this item so that way you can get even better flagships in the future now if i'm not mistaken there is also some alliance events that will give you some flagship blueprints such as the advanced starfield alliance event i don't have any of those events up here to prove it but right now we do have the archean ghost ship event that is uh, gonna go live soon so this you know gives you some flagship gear and some experience and things like that but you can also from my research it seems that there are some alliance events that also grant you some blueprints for flagships when you do complete them so keep that in mind keep an eye out for that and that's also another as if there weren't enough reasons there's a million good reasons to join an alliance in this game this is another one another great place to get some flagship blueprints is in the events section so you can see up in the top right corner there's the event calendar and it'll show you all the different events here there's an event that comes around i think it's actually at the very beginning of the game it's called the uh hunting arrow event i think that's where you rep replenish corium and you do get some uh, rewards for that um if you've played rise of kingdoms i think that's either it's kind of like the rise of kingdoms event at the beginning of the game where you get cleopatra for free well for free by making those purchases but you get it's an extra incentive for purchases you can sort of think of it as like a recharge event right like if you're replenishing corium in the game then you're going to get rewarded with legendary blueprints super super good if you're going to be spending in the game that's the time to be doing it right at the beginning there with that hunting arrow event but i'm sure that there are other events in the game that will reward you with flagship blueprints as well so make sure you check the event calendar in here it will uh, it refreshes every single day and you'll see all the events that are coming up and all the events that are currently here and that's how you can get some blueprints as well this galaxy star event is sort of like a mightiest governor event in the fact that you're competing against other players against three different phases and some of the rank rewards that you get at the very very end is uh really good because you get a ton of federation advanced credits and like we talked about before this is what you need to exchange in that alliance in that uh blueprint shop to get some of the legendary blueprints so this is another event that you can compete in and if you come in one of those top placings um then you can get some some blueprints that way as well the final thing i want to talk about here is the development handbook i actually wasn't completely paying attention to all of the rewards that i was getting from the individual events as well as the chapter rewards it is possible that you can get and again correct me if i'm wrong um but there may have been a chapter or two where you get blueprints from here i don't remember correctly but pay attention obviously you're going to be doing the uh, development handbook anyway it's possible you could get them here again I, I wish i could prove that with screenshots or data i don't remember the reason that i say that is because i actually don't remember where i got the argo flagship from like i literally just don't remember i don't remember if it was a chapter reward or if i got this from some sort of other event i really don't remember at all and when i go up here to click on blueprints or i'm sorry if i go back to uh, the modify option and i go here to get more blueprints it just says to buy in the shop so it actually doesn't tell me where i even got this from so yeah it's possible that it, maybe i got that from a chapter reward so keep that in mind guys again you're going to be doing this handbook anyway so just crush it out and maybe you'll be getting some blueprints there as well or maybe it's in later stages that i just haven't reached yet who knows and finally there's also bundles right there's bundles you can buy some of these bundles here uh have some legendary flagship blueprints uh you do need 50 blueprints in order to build a flagship if i'm not mistaken so this five dollar bundle only gives you five blueprints so keep that in mind when you're buying these bundles you just you know you have to buy enough of them to, to just build that flagship to begin with there's also the daily bundles as well so there's a seven dollar ten dollar twenty dollar bundle that you can buy every single day this refreshes and it looks like it is the achilles flagship so that's another way if you guys want you can make these purchases it's up to you there's also this limited time deal that's going to give you a ton of federation credits so i bought a couple of these bundles up to this point uh, but you can exchange these federation credits for like i said earlier blueprints so there's some bundles that you can buy if you guys are spenders you know go ahead and make those purchases but there's also plenty of ways to get blueprints for free in this game just by playing just by logging in 
every single day with that being said guys if you found this video informative educational entertaining whatever the case might be make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really does help out the channel a ton and if you're new around here make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload an infinite galaxy video i know like 80 percent of you guys are not subscribed to the channel so make sure you go ahead and do that today comment down below if there's any more information that i should know about flagship blueprints did i miss anything super important from you know this type of video is there any other ways that i missed are there ways that i said that it may be inaccurate like the like the chapter uh rewards things let me know in the comments section below i'm always down to learn more about this game i'm a new player just like you guys as always there's links in the description below to follow me on social media so make sure you follow me over there on instagram twitter discord everything like that it's always in the description below as well as a link to download infinite galaxy absolutely for free for ios for android you can even play it on emulators on your computer click that link in the description below and give the game a try like i said it's absolutely for free and the game looks absolutely gorgeous so you got nothing to lose with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace